Ahoy! Welcome back to the adventures of Captain Jay and Tiki. I'm so very excited that you joined us again for another adventure. Today, Tiki and I were maybe thinking about discussing uh, all about Tiki, really. You see, we travel all over the area, up and down the coast, west to east and north to south, and we meet all kinds of people. A lot of you like to watch our videos, of course, and uh, sometimes you have questions. A lot of those questions have to do with our friend Tiki here. So oh, we thought maybe we'd make a very special video all about Tiki. Now, Tiki, come on, girl. Let's show them. Now, Tiki is a kind of parrot called a macaw. Uh, tiki would originally come from uh, Central and South America, which is a bit south from us, of course. And her birds, her kind of birds, macaws fly all over the place down there. Uh, there are so many different kinds, too. There are uh, blue and gold macaws, like Tiki is. Uh, there are scarlet macaws, like our friend Sundance, who you've met. Uh, there are even these big blue birds called hyacinth macaws. They're one of the largest macaws there is. I believe they made a movie about him. Now, Tiki here, and, and birds a lot like her, they're very interesting because they live a very long time, especially when they've got loving homes to be able to take care of them. So, Tiki is nine years old. That's one of the most popular questions we get. How old is she? She's nine. And how old will she live to be? Well, Tiki here, hopefully, will live upwards of 80 years. Now, Tiki, of course, as you know, has some really nice colors. She's got blue on her back and green on her head here. She's got yellow on her belly and a little bit of black. Her face, hold on. Her face is very zebra striped. She likes toys. She's very, very smart. She can figure out different things. Take this ball, for instance. I've put in a couple peanuts in here, her favorite treat. And uh, I bet if we leave her here for a bit, she'll probably figure that out and figure out how to get one of those nuts. Oh, see, there she goes. She sees them. She knows what's in there. Now, other than nuts, uh, peanuts being one of the least favorite treats of mine, actually. I prefer to give her walnuts. Uh, she also eats pellets, her normal diet. Uh, these are, they kind of look like a cereal of sorts. They have different fruit shapes. This one's green. This one's yellow, like a banana. We've got uh, orange ones, like an orange, and these ones are even grape shaped. But they're not cereal, they're not sugary or anything like that. They're, uh, they're vegetables and grains and fruits that are all embedded in there. And uh, Tiki seems to, oh, see that? She got one of those peanuts, she did. I knew she would. Uh, this is what she mostly eats. And then in between this, we like to give her fresh foods uh, like uh, strawberries and berries. She loves bananas, uh, vegetables, sometimes broccoli or green beans, things she can pick with her, with her beak. Uh, she loves fruit, a lot of fruit. But their, their diet really varies. You can even give them uh, some bugs. Uh, she loves hard-boiled eggs, peeling the shell off and eating the yolk. Uh, you give... She can eat uh, mealworms, crickets, different things. But uh, we stick to the pellets and the fruits and vegetables mostly, and uh, sometimes these nuts. And then toys, she really likes anything she can play with. Something like that, something she can tear apart. Sometimes we take newspaper or pieces of wood and put those in her cage so that she can uh, tear them apart and destroy them. What do you see, Tiki? Now another thing people like to ask us all about Tiki is, can she say anything? It's a very interesting thing. You see big birds like this on, on your television and on movies and stuff. They say all kinds of words, but uh, our Tiki and a lot of these big parrots, they can't say a lot. They say one or two things, a couple things here and there. Now Tiki here can say uh, hello, and she can say good girl. Uh, we're going to try and see if she'll do that here, shall we? Hello. 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 Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. 
She uses her beak as a tool as well. Uh, so she can climb with her claws, that's fine, but uh, she doesn't have fingers up top. So she uses her beak to be able to climb different things. Sometimes if she's slipping, she'll use her beak to balance, and uh, occasionally you'll see her on my shoulder. And Tiki's an interesting pet, of course, and uh, much like old pets, it takes a lot of care. Now, Tiki has a very large cage uh, on our ship, which she sleeps in, and uh, she's got several of these perches, which she sits on uh, with water and food and, and whatnot. Uh, toys like this all over the ship, and uh, she likes to be part of our family, of course. Birds like these are, are very um, friendly and very sociable. But it doesn't mean that every bird is uh, friendly, of course. A, a lot of the time they like specific people in their family. Uh, Tiki luckily likes a lot of people. But if you ever meet a bird, uh, much like you would meet a dog or another animal on the street, you never want to rush up to them and put your hand up to them and try to touch them. Oh, they don't know you and, and you don't really know them. You could get bit, and very badly actually, by a bird like this size. And Tiki's beak is very, very strong, and she's a little bird compared to some of the macaws out there. Uh, you've seen Sundance, our big scarlet macaw. He's much bigger than Tiki, and his beak is a lot stronger. You always want to ask the owner if it's okay if you meet them. A lot of the time, when you meet me and Tiki out on the streets or at different events, I'll allow you to pet her right on her back nice and gently, and she doesn't seem to mind it. She really likes the attention. <laughs> oh my, what are you looking for? There's nuts here. There's your toy right here. Did you want this? Look at her do that with the beak. Look at that. Tears right into it, huh? Oh my goodness, Tiki. A little scratch there. Do you want more? No? What a sweet girl you are. Yes, you are. My goodness, Tiki. Anyways, I think that's pretty much it. Those cover the basics anyways. Remember, if you think of any other questions you might have about Tiki, uh, well, ask them in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them best I can. I'm no bird expert as it is, but we do have two of these beautiful birds on board our ship. They live with us every day, so maybe I'll know the answer. Anyways, it's worth a try. Go ahead, leave us a comment. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for us. We love to have new subscribers and we like to know that you're out there. And uh, I guess we'll be sailing off. We'll see you on our next adventure, all right? Bye! Ahoy! Thanks for watching. If you like this video and you don't want to miss another one, hit the subscribe button below. And don't forget, Captain Jay's here every week on Wednesdays with a new episode for you. If you want more Captain Jay, Check out my book, Captain Jay and the Misfit Crew. It's available online on Barnes & Noble, Amazon, and Wordery.com. We'll see you next time. Bye!